here for a little tutorial on how to clean a 5.4 high kappa style gas blowback. This one is EMG and STI for the um, 2011, I think. Uh, there's I don't know, I couldn't really find the name on it, but it's the 5.4 high kappa um i think the only difference between this one and the 5.1 is the length of the barrel i'm pretty sure that's what they mean i'm not sure i'm not you know but i already know too much about it but i do know how to take it apart so here's what what i'm trying to help you guys with maybe give you an idea maybe I, i'll show you guys something that another youtube video didn't share but First of all, you want to take out the mag because I don't think you could take out this pin without taking out the mag first. You line it up with the little back notch, push it out, and pull this out. Or, yeah. Mine's kind of... If you guys have trouble with this, if you guys have trouble with your, with your slide not catching when it's... um when it's empty if it's not catching this this one right here did not want to lock back so what i had to do was i had to sand this down a little bit here let me see if i could show you guys well anyways i i kind of sanded it a little bit with some sandpaper some like fine grit stuff like on the edge right here just a little bit because <clears throat> yeah it makes it it makes the um, slide better against this little pin right here so yeah that helps so there's a bottle bottom assembly I'll make a video later just on this taking this apart because when i took this apart it was it was pretty complicated so that'll probably be a, another video on itself this spring back here likes to get messed up but yeah that'll be for i'll leave that one for another video but um this is an upgraded an upgraded uh guide rod the one that comes normally is this one right here the stock 5.4 guide rod and this one i think you just you, it goes in like this and there's a i'll just pull it out it goes in like this and you have to line it up with that hole and there's a there's a There's a screw right here that you loosen and tie back up and put in that notch and it, it's 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 harder to to take out than it is this one i like this one right here so what do i okay yeah that's right to find a small allen wrench two small allen wrenches put that there and then there's another hole right here and then you loosen it up so this is easy i don't know it might i think it's easier than <clears throat> doing that little allen that allen um allen screw because you gotta hold it down once you put it in you have to hold it down you gotta tighten it and then hope it doesn't shoot out this right here is actually pretty easy you just stick that other allen key right here to hold it that top part and you just unscrew it Takes a little bit. Not yet. Nope. Not yet. Still. Oh, there we go. Okay. Put those 
the side. Now, this is on a pressure so I like to shoot out, so it's kind of either either side. Pull this top piece out. Now I did put an extra washer, uh, one of those rubber washers from the from the cow cow um, short stroke kit. I don't really short stroke it too much because if you put if you make it too short, your your slide is not going to lock back when when you're when you run out of run out of shots out of your mag. So I probably no, this is good. I mean, unless I go crazy and do the barrel inner barrel and the whole new guide rod. I don't think I'm going to put too many on there. I'll, I'm good with this. Um, then from right here, you just kind of pull it out. Probably, actually, let's see. Is it easier to do it like this? Mm, not really. How did I do? Okay. Pull, yeah, that was easier. Pull this out from here and then just pull out the spring. Okay, yeah, that was easy. Pull this out. Okay, this is not like the 1911s. This one's all round, so it could go anyway. Okay, now the barrel just should just slide right out. All right. Now this is the, I mean, you could take this off. I mean, what, you take this top off and then there's a screw holding it down. But, I mean, there's really, you don't have to do that. I mean, unless you drop it in dirt and you think there's, unless you drop it in sand or whatever. But right now I'm just cleaning where the slide goes through it. This is going to be clean because actually this is already ready to go. I already oiled it and everything. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to redo it. I, I don't know. I wherever whenever I see wear marks like that silver right there, a little bit of silver right here, silver right there, that's where it's rubbing. That's what you want to get good. Like on the inside, I don't know. That's kind of I don't know how it got there, but okay. This is the top part. I'll just clean this really quick. Like I said, it's already clean. If you guys are your first time taking it apart. You're going to have to do a really good job with, like, these right here where the slide goes back and forth. Right here, these little grooves. Clean these right here. Maybe right there. A little bit. This top part right here. This, make sure your trigger, all, you, all your little triggers are little metal. There's, like, four or five little things working with each other. Make sure that's clean. From the top i mean if you take this apart make sure you know what you're doing because if you think it's you know, it could be easy for some people but it could be a little overwhelming if you don't if you're not tech savvy that looks pretty good okay if yours is real dirty grab a q-tip right there right there that's good and like in here it's hard to reach with the towel but i got good Okay, so that's wiped down. Well, I'm gonna oil this. Just oil it real quick before I get into this. I put a, two dots right there. Pull this back from the little nozzle hole until you see the, the O-ring on the valve. Try not to pull it too far back. I don't think it'll let you, but don't force it. As long as you can see a little bit, just put like one or two drops. Yeah, that should be good right there. Um, Let me grab a Q-tip. I got a Q-tip. So you kind of just run the grease down the down the groove on the side here. Okay, that's pretty good. Just down here, some down here. I'll use my finger. Oh. Uh. 
I have to work on getting better lighting, sorry. Yeah, I completely took this apart because I have a chest, a chest holster for this sidearm and it fell off my chest like three times in the dirt last game. So I completely took it apart and cleaned it. And after this, I'll load up one of my cartridges and I'll shoot it real quick. We'll do a little bit of dry firing. That's good. Now, for this one. Well... screwdrivers we'll just do the barrel cleaning actually I just grab a little piece of paper rip it out cleaning rod are having a party. Okay. Oh yeah, make sure your hop up is all the way down. Where would it be down? I have to give it a little spin in action. Yeah. That should be good. Like I said, it's already been cleaned. Now for oh, should I take I'm gonna make I'm gonna show the hop up. Just keep in mind when you put this, I'm taking off the screw to pull the barrel out. You have to take out this little, this little piece of, it's like a, it's like a roof of a house with like, like a circle, part of the roof, half of the roof missing. Yeah, you want to make sure you remember which way it goes. Okay, so it's going to be that way. Now... It should slide out. Now, if it was a, a one piece, you would want this tight, but I, this one has like a little bit of give. But this should be good. Yeah, this is this is good. Yeah, this is that's good. Wipe that down if it's dirty on your guys's. Okay, it's my towel. Oh yeah, these these screws like to come loose. So always check on these screws. I make sure this one's still Should 
Should have brought my little like mechanic headlight. That would have been useful. Okay. So those two screws are pretty much the only thing holding that in. Oh, that doesn't look too dirty. Now there's a part that kind of was tricky, like this bottom part sits in this oops sits in that little line of the of the wheel so yeah just in case you didn't know okay that was kind of like milky grease okay here's the the bucking right yeah i think so it just slides out slide out there we go. it's greasy so it's supposed to be that greasy <coughs> oh sorry I was just cleaning this that's all I was doing Okay, so the inside of here has a little line. Is that, is that it? Oh, there's two notches on it. Okay. Two notches and then the middle. Okay, oh, so it's pretty, you know, so pretty self-explanatory. Right? Hard to see. There we go, right there. Let me grab another light. Lighting in my place sucks. Oh, okay. This like little nub is like throwing me off. It's like, oh, it's the, the, it sits on top. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, fellas. Okay. I don't think we really think this needs to be like grease, greased up. So. Okay. Barrel's clean, hop up's good. Hop up is good. Now for the reinstalling. Now you put this back. Oh yeah, that's right. In the back there's a little slot, that's where this goes. Okay. 
okay. Okay. Pop up was set to halfway. There's a little nub right there. Now, put this. On the wheel, the little wheel. All right, it's all there. Line it up. Okay, there's a bat. Okay. All right, that was easier than the Norwich. Okay. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Nope, I'm not. Pop up silver's good. Yep, I can see it moving. Alright. That's good. Okay, solid. Screws back on. Oh, leave a comment if you know where this screwdriver comes from. What um, airsoft gun it came with. You probably won't guess. Nobody will probably guess it right. But, oh, I don't think there's a video on it with, with that replica. I just got the replica, so you guys probably wouldn't know, but. Somebody who probably has the same one I just got will know where this came from. Make sure it's not stripping it. Always make sure you're not stripping your bolt. good right there yeah, that barrel is clean make sure the hop up is good looks good so Put it back in. Okay. I remember how it how it went. It looks like a little house. I put the well oh yeah the the little circle cut from one side it will match the hole where the what goes there? I think where the, I don't know what, some goes in there, big old screw hole. Come on. There we go. It was a pretty small screw, and my hands are oily.
Sorry, guys. I mean, but if you see me struggling, chances are you might struggle the same. And probably seeing how I do will probably hopefully give you guys some help or maybe how I'm holding the screwdriver might help or how I'm holding this might help. Hopefully it will. I don't know. My friend said that not not editing the videos make them more real and whatever but yeah if only editing was easy just takes a lot of time okay so let me double check these bolts good good already oiled up good okay put the barrel in yep put your your guide for your guide rod yeah no I'm just playing I don't know what that's called so how did we do this last time that made it easier put the spring in and we put the guide rod in all right, and then we have to wrestle this in. Okay. Oops. So we got it. Oops. Okay. All right. All right. I'm sorry. Here, let me do that again. So I kind of just. <laughs> My bad, some of you guys are like, dude, get to the fucking point. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. So I kind of. Okay, put that there. Kind of line it up. I kind of use my the whole thumb. Ooh, I got it that time pretty quick. Give it a good little screw. As long as your thread's on once or twice, boom. Good. Well, practice makes perfect. Because I remember having a lot of trouble when I first put this barrel in. So technically, this one does take a little bit longer to like screw and unscrew than the original one. But I think it's... Um, well, no, I wouldn't say that's easier. It's actually harder, but it's faster to take on and off than this one. That makes sense. But this is easier, but it takes a little bit of while, a little while to, unless I'm doing it wrong. But this is the easiest way of doing it without using the strength on your fingertips. It's pretty snug. Don't, I wouldn't tighten it up all the way, but that kind of looks weird. Yeah, that definitely was weird. Because that, my spring just came out. I mean, the, yeah, what the hell? Okay, rewind. Did I not tighten that screw enough? Hmm, must have not tightened it enough. What just happened? Sorry guys, I don't do blooper reels. We're just gonna have to run with it. Not too much. 
крепкий. I put it in from the wrong side. I think I freaking did. I think I did. I don't know why. I'm over here. Well, I hope you guys watched the whole <laughs> video before. Disclaimer. I am not liable for anybody's broken replicas. Alright. It goes this way right here. You know what? It did go on this side because I remember all three bolts were facing me. <sighs> Come on, dummy. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Don't agree with me. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Now it's good. Uh, spring first. Spring. I think guy rod to kind of hold it in, hold its place, shape, I mean. Third time's the charm. Come on, you know you wanna. It's hard to do this because I have to be like right here on the table. Oh, there we go. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but I think we're good. Oh, never mind. I don't think we're good yet. If I know, there we go. Right, tighty, lefty, loosey. That's not always right. Sometimes it's right, Lucy, left, Lucy, righty. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I'm trying to mean. And I did do this video with no background music. I'm listening. I listen to you guys. Uh, 
tight, tight like a tiger. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's wrong. Okay. So, we just... It doesn't matter if it's pulled back or not. It doesn't matter. Excuse me. So you just... Right here. Um, pull it back. Until it's right there. Line it up. Push it forward. What's wrong? Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll know right now. I'm gonna grab a tank. Hold on. This one, I just replace a seal on it. It works good and everything. I just don't want to use it just in case it messes up on me on the video. I don't need something else to fix. And then this one has like the the strike that stick that pierces the CO2 tank is. I think it's dull or something. Or I need to replace it, but it still works. It just you gotta really crank on it for it to puncture that seal on the on the CO2 tank. So, like any other CO2 gun, you just put a little bit on the tank. Yeah, that seal's still in there. Put this in. Okay. Kind of like just my hands all weird like and yeah that's not how you load a CO2 tank what? why did it do that or is this the I think this is the one that's messed up you know, I'm gonna try that Shot um, a lubricant inside the, the mag, I guess. This one straight has a busted, what? Huh. I'm about to open this one up. What the? Yeah, I'm about to look at the, look at me into this one. Or is it this one the one that messed up?
We're gonna keep trying, guys. We're gonna keep trying until we get it right. See, now that was right. Target off camera. I had to get more BBs. Boom. <clears throat> All right. Moment of truth. It's already cocked and loaded. So you guys can kind of see the and it's not walking back. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, it works still. Okay, so this is a messed up board number three. So probably next video, I'll try to do something about these mags because we already did. We, me and my buddy Chris, who was in the last video, we took a part of these and and board out the hole for the air valve which helped and i'll also do um, another video on how to take apart the lower the whole trigger the whole trigger area so you guys stay tuned you know you'll see the video so yeah I'm fixing both of these up all right thumbs up if you like it later